All right, guys, for the second part of 2-3, we're going to start with learning what the Healing Brush tool does and make sure you guys understand how to download these files. All right, so you're going to come to the website, um, and you're going to go here, and you're going to just click on the link there. Now, it's going to bring you here, all right? And when you get to this, it should automatically pop up like this. You are going to choose the download option, okay? So you're going to click download button. Once you download that, it's going to automatically download to the top here. So here we go. We've got the tour of Photoshop image. That's what we're going to use today. And now we're going to go over to Photoshop. So if you haven't already, you should make sure you watch the last video to pin this to the bottom. If you haven't, but you're going to go ahead and click Photoshop and wait for it to open. So whenever we open Photoshop, we want to try a file. We're going to click create or new file. And then for this one, I want to make sure that I go in here and have eight and a half by 11. That's your normal paper width and vertical. All right. We'll get more into color modes and just different things like that later. But as long as you have eight and a half by 11 with about 300 pixels for now, we're good. We're going to click create. So now you can see it's blank like this. All right. And so what we're going to do um, is the easiest thing now that we've downloaded it. There's a couple ways we can do it. Um, we can open an image, add an image, things like that. But I find the easiest way, we know that it's downloaded. So I'm going to click my file down here. And I'm going to go to my downloads. And I'm going to just click and drag this in there. So now that I've done that, we have our image. It's set up like this. I'm going to drag it over. And I'm going to hold down my shift key. The shift key allows you to make sure things say the right proportion as you do or as you move it and now you can kind of move it up to where it's more centered and then you click the check saying hey you're good your image is how you like it now <clears throat> first things first I want to make sure um, the important thing to know is you don't want to do destructive editing that's if I go in and start editing the, pic the original picture with no regard for it so I want to go ahead I want to duplicate this so I want to go right click and I want to say duplicate my layer or not duplicate my layer the easiest way I want to just hit control C control V and it makes that layer makes it a little bit easier now when I go in there to do this I'm also going to choose right click on the top layer I'm going to choose rasterize okay? that allows me to edit a little more freely now that I'm in here we are going to be using the spot healing brush tool that is the one right here under the eyedropper um, so to make sure everybody's side looks the same, always go to Window, Workspace, and then make sure you have East Essentials on. And if it looks funky, you can always click Reset Essentials, and it puts everything back where it's supposed to be. Because you can customize a lot of settings in here. So once again, we're on the Spiling Brush Tool, and what this does, it removes blemishes. In this case, if you wanted to get your eye away from this bar that's here. Now, first of all, it's always important to know which layer you are on. If I chose this one and start trying to edit, it's not going to allow me to, right? So I gotta make sure I'm on this top layer. Now, your bracket keys, which are near the backspace keys, the left bracket makes things smaller, the right bracket makes things larger, allows me to go in here. Now, control plus, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm holding down the space key and clicking and dragging with my mouse. So my whole goal right now with the spiling brush tool is to get rid of this bar. I'm going to kind of just go over it multiple times. And what it does is it uses like, it senses what is around it and tries to kind of match things in. Now you can see that kind of did it okay. Now depending on how big it is and how things are set up, like you could definitely see when we zoom out. If you're paying attention, I mean, it's not as noticeable as that bar, but you can also change how things are set up. You can see where the line there got really wonky of that wall as we go back um, but you can also change things if you don't want to use your brackets to change the size you can change right here or the hardness which if I were to go all the way up you can see uh, right there that's your hardness how that's going to look whereas if I were to go all the way down you might go down and see that it's going to be a lot softer so if I wanted to kind of blur these edges out to where it's not as noticeable I might would do that and click along the way. Now, to see what it looked like originally, these are the differences aside from the alignment being off there, which we could go and fix uh, by selecting it itself. Um, let's see, like that one. So the original one is higher. This one is lower. We might move it up. And we could go back and forth. We're still a little bit lower, but you guys get the idea. 
So our new one, the whole point of this video is spiling brush. And we were able to remove that bar quite easily. All of these in this section kind of have different things and allows you to do that to take away things and try to fill in the gaps as needed. Okay, so make sure you do that. Now, to make sure you guys understand screenshots. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to move this over. Whenever you take a screenshot for this class for submission, I always want to be able to see two things. All right, I want to see the design or the image we're editing, and I want to see all of your layers. So for example, for this grade, I'm going to make sure you have two layers, as well as I want to see that you did the changes I wanted done. So when you go to screenshot this, you would print, you would screenshot from here to there, so I could see the image and the two layers. So it should be like this. All right, and then once again, make sure when you do that, I hit that print screen button. When I hit save, I want to make sure it is saved under Photoshop screenshots, and this is long 2-3 assignment. And then I would hit save and upload that. And if you don't know how to upload it, you can always check out yesterday's video to get back to that. All right, guys, so that is it for today. Let me know if you have any questions.